Hi, I'm Tony Stefano, Hillside Christmas Tree Farm, and today we're going to be doing some backpack spraying to control some of our grass around our exotic Christmas trees. Um, if you follow along, you know that inside the exotic area, I have about an acre and a half, two acres of trees that um, it's a little too, I don't know, it's not set up in a row or anything like that where I can uh, get the main sprayer with the tractor and pull tank and really work the area. So a lot of this work in here is by hand. So we're gonna use a backpack sprayer and our little shields and we're gonna do some uh, weed control here using a 2% solution of glyphosate. All right, so what do we see? What are we looking at here? Uh, from this angle, we see that I'm wearing the backpack and we're going around each tree individually. And in one hand, I have a shield. And all that shield is is a bucket turned upside down with a handle, a post, kind of a, a two by two screwed through the bottom of it. And what this does is it protects the ceiling, ceiling from the spray. Obviously, bigger trees, this little bucket doesn't fit around, but I'm just carefully applying the herbicide around the tree, and it works out very well for us.
So in a little over an hour, we uh, did our backpack spray in the exotic field. Uh, as you know, a little bit more on the exotic field. I started this in 2019, maybe if you count kind of the, um, the clearing of the land a little a couple years before that. But in 2019, I started planting our first trees. And I started out with Korean, Nordman, and Grand. Um, honestly, the biggest problem tree that I've had have been the Grand, just their survival rate. I think our winters here are a little too harsh. Um, the Koreans we tried in 2013, we have some that are of harvest size this year, we'll be opening those up, and they've been doing really good. They're just pretty slow compared to balsam and Penan and our, our main rotation, so we needed to give them a separate area, so it's kind of what kind of got me going with this exotic area, is just giving a new type of tree the area and time that it needs where I don't have to uh, um, push it and force its speed, right? It doesn't matter in here, I'm going to interplant so I don't need to block plant and turn over a field at any given time. So then I continued planting in 2019. I took a year off in 2020. So last year I planted another 100 of each, Grand, Korean, and Nordman. Nordman are starting to do really good in 2019, hopefully start putting up that top growth. I hear that they're a slow starter. And then in this year I did, again, my normal uh, Grand, Korean, and Nordman. And I also added some Noble this year, so we'll see how that goes. I am almost done. If I plant again, I probably have another room for two, three hundred more. And that'll be it for the exotics. And I'll start kind of interplanting once they get up in, high, in size a little bit. But I think I want to try some cork bark and some Turkish fir. No Turkish with the deer. But in here, I use a lot of that Irish Spring soap and try to, try to control the deer that way. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you saw something that will help you succeed on your farm. If you didn't, check out some of these other videos that I've created for you. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future content. Lastly, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider us using the Buy Me A Coffee or affiliate links in the description below.